Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you why I started using Reaper. So I know what you're wondering, you're like, well, I thought you were a Studio One man, you know, what's going on here? Well, I've always had some problems. I basically, when Logic Mastering Suite, once I became aware of it, I jumped back into Logic. And even though ultimately Logic didn't end up being the DAW I like at all, there's some weird clicking thing that I don't like. And there's other things I don't like about it. So messing with Logic brought out a lot of things I didn't like about Studio One. One thing being the sound library. The sound library, is, to me, it's not that great. And and Logix is amazing. And same thing with Fat Channel. Fat Channel has some cool things to it, but then there's other things to it. Like Logic has a lot more selection. And the reason why is because you have to buy that stuff. And it's like, when you buy a full version of a product, you expect to have everything on it, right? So I'm expecting Studio One will have all the variations of its plugins. But no, they have more versions of Fat Channel. They have uh, more sound library sounds that you have to buy on the side. And the reason why is they all also have a subscription that they want to push you to and I'm not doing a subscription you know screw that so that kind of was just like that's always left a bad taste in my mouth and when I bought the complete bundle I'm like well I don't need their extra library I got a great library now but then other little things were kind of bothering one and this is a very minor one is whenever I swapped my setup like right here my Mac well it was I'm using my PC right now but it'd be plugged into this monitor right here and that audit and when I go to the garage it's plugged into another monitor and a Scarlett 18 i20 and the problem is is every time I change setups it defaults to the monitor audio for some reason and like every other program I have on my computer it doesn't matter what it is it could be DaVinci Resolve Reaper Logic, Final Cut, whatever it is, you can set it to the default sound source. And Studio One is just like, nah, I'm gonna pick your monitor every time. So every time I go from the garage to here, or here to the garage, or maybe just use the laptop on its own, all of a sudden, it's like, I'll go into a project, I'm not getting any sound, and I have to go back out, and I gotta tell it, oh, I'm using this now. And it's just like, just use the default audio source. Like, just use that. Please, everything else gives you the option to choose that. Why are you causing me pain? Why can't I just plug in and go, you know? And yeah, I know that's minor, but whatever. And then the third one is this reoccurring problem I've had. There's their expander plugin, which is a cool little plugin. And I use it on the drums. And originally when I got Studio One, I was having this issue. And after taking forever to figure out what it was, it was the expander plugin. For some reason, it just glitches out. And all of a sudden it just stops working in your audio drops down for whatever it's on and it took me forever to figure out it was the expander plugin because at first I'm like why is my snare when I first play the track loud and then it goes down in volume then I turn it up but then okay it's fine and then when I export it it's loud again and it's just like what the heck's going on here and then I figured out when I installed it it didn't install right because I reinstalled all my plugins ended up fixing it for a while it happening again it's now messing up it's not working and it's just like you know, it just doesn't make me very happy. So to say the least, those little things have made me, even though I can say within inside the box where you edit the sound files, where they're the little tracks, I love it the best for that. Reaper's a good close second. So I moved over to the Reaper inside the box, like the little file, audio files, that's what I call inside the box, where you're doing the little fade in, fade outs and all that stuff. It's a close second to Studio One. I still say Studio One's the best at that. Logic is the worst that I've used at that. That's why I don't use Logic. But I have to say it's close enough for now at the moment moment. I'm sticking with Reaper. I bought the license and I'm having no problems. There's just little things with the track sizes and stuff like that. Like I'm just getting used to it. You know, with Studio One, it felt like everything kind of, I just got really used to it. It's kind of like logic with how the folders and stuff work. And Studio One's kind of going towards that way, but it's not quite there yet. They added like a pack folder. I think they called create a folder track or whatever. And that's a really good step in the right direction, but it just graphically needs to be adjusted a little bit. And I think it'd be a hundred percent perfect, but yeah, I'm happy with Reap right now. I'm, I moved my album tunes, the two I've been working on. Yes, I've been slacking on that too. I've moved those over to Reaper. I've been trying out Guitar Rig 6. It came with my complete bundle. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I know it's like the last version, just like Ozone 10 is the last version, but that's what came with my complete bundle. I'm going to probably do a Guitar Rig 6 versus 
Helix video soon, so watch out for that. I'm digging Guitar Rig 6. When I first tried it out, I wasn't too in love with it, but then after I tweaking it, I'm like, ooh, this is pretty good. So I'm testing out everything. You know, maybe I'll just be a complete guy, you know? So yeah, there you go. January's been a lot of changes, so hopefully February's gonna be more stability. You know, it's all my fault. Like, that's a saying I tell myself all the time, you did it to yourself. Like, I always tell myself whenever I have a problem, I'm like, you did it to yourself. And I am doing this to myself, so whatever. But hopefully February, everything gets more stable and I'm going to be working on my album and keep making videos here because I haven't stopped yet. Full sailing ahead. So I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you next time. Yeah.